Went to bed last night at about 2 in the morning. No. 3 in the morning. I had to edit the vlog, I forgot. I was done gaming at around 2 and then I jumped on uh, the editing and got that all uploaded. What the fuck just happened on my camera? Okay, anyway. Went to bed at 2. Woke up today at about 11. Let's stoop it out. And I haven't had anything to vlog about all day. I haven't picked up the camera once. First time I pick up the camera, it's almost 8 o'clock at night. I have absolutely nothing going on. Fuck, I hate winter. Like, my garage is in shambles, so I can't really go into my garage and do work on things. I don't want to take anything and put it outside because it's snowing. And I'd rather just leave everything where it is. So, yeah. I don't know what the fuck to do with myself anymore. So I'm going to air fry some pork chops. Put these bitches in for 15 minutes. And I think I'm going to make some mashed potatoes to go with them. Frig it. Why not, right? Mashed potatoes are pretty good. Or buy a little more potatoes. More potatoes. Yeah, you'll work. So, let's pitter patter and have at her and get some fucking smash mash going on up in this bitch. Of course, I'll be using everyone's favorite instant mashed potatoes that they love to comment about, saying that they're just chemicals, but they obviously don't read the ingredients, and, well, that's their own prerogative. You know, I was reading comments today where people were, well, I guess it was in regards to what I said yesterday about being personal on YouTube and how I have to stop doing that. Like, quit giving away so much personal information. And part of it was the um, talking about jobs in general. And people were mentioning, you know, you ever go watch major YouTubers and they don't talk about their jobs? Maybe that's what I need to do. A lot of the big vloggers on YouTube, the reason why they don't talk about their job is because YouTube is their job. And last month when the algorithm changed on how YouTube works, they started talking about their job. Hell, I even talked about it, but funny thing is, is that algorithm doesn't affect me as much. If anything, it helps me out because I upload daily. See, uh, a lot of the bigger YouTubers, like for instance, like McJuggerNuggets, uh, Kid Behind a Camera, they did a lot of videos that were like reaction videos, if you will, like, uh, you know, father lawnmowers, video games, and stuff like that. Well, YouTube's not pushing old content anymore. They're only going to be promoting relevant new stuff. And seeing how theoretically every day I have a new video, well, even Kid Behind a Camera has a new video coming out. The only way to get the old stuff pushed would be to link it in that video somehow, right? Because YouTube ain't pushing the old content. They want new, up-to-date, relevant fucking content. So that's why a lot of the bigger YouTubes, YouTubers were complaining about the algorithm, was because the old videos that were making them bank are no longer making them bank because they're not being pushed. But I digress, I just went off track. What I'm trying to say is, is the reason why you don't see the big vloggers who are successful talk about their work is because they don't have a job. This is their job, this is their form of income. Their hobby makes them bank. So why the fuck talk about it? You're already doing it, right? Where people like me, who do this as a hobby, and the extra money that comes in, well right now it's going to be used for helping to pay bills alongside of the severance from last year, um, until I find a new job. Uh, you know, I still wouldn't call this my job. I, I fucking never would. Because uh, it's too unstable. Like, I have a feeling... Over the next couple of years with YouTube bitching and moaning about how the site is not making revenue no matter how much they try, that this site could very well go the way of Vimeo, where you have to pay to upload, and or they might just say, fuck ad share, we're putting ads on all the videos, but you guys can upload here for free, you're just not going to make a dime. You want to make money? We're giving you permission, because right now, theoretically, Patreon if YouTube wanted to, they could frown at that and start dropping accounts because of Patreon. Because you're, it goes against terms of service. Oh, potatoes are almost ready. You know, YouTube doesn't want you double dipping. Just like AdSense. Like, if you have a website with AdSense on it and you have ads configured to generate clicks versus 
doing it properly and having the user click on an advert because it's something that they're relevant to, they're interested in, then that's going to cause issues. Like, it's, they want you to use YouTube Rev only, which is why, like, uh, theoretically having a donate to me link by PayPal down in your description is kind of against YouTube Terms of Service, but they don't really do anything about it until something arises where there's a problem with it, like a big fucking thing comes up and now you two has to get involved to resolve the issue. Now they're pissed, right? Because they don't want to fucking do anything. They just want to sit back and have the revenue come in like anybody else. They just they don't want to get involved, but if they have to, then they get mad, then things get hurt, then policies are created, so on and so forth, which makes sense to me. But um, yeah, like, uh, the other day, uh, Chuch sent me a link to this new thing coming out very soon called Livestream. Basically, it allows you to live stream to live stream. And what Livestream does is it allows you to live stream to like YouTube, Twitch, uh, Hitbox, and a bunch of other live streaming utilities all at the same time. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So, kind of a cool concept, I will admit. Very cool, very cool indeed. But YouTube frowns against that. They want you to live stream just to YouTube. They don't want your... When you're on YouTube, they don't want you to be streaming to Twitch at the same time. Will they do anything about it? Probably not right away, until something arises where there's a compli... Uh, like, you know, some sort of a, a, a conflict, and then they'll come down on you. You know, it's like anything in general. Like, around here, weed, for instance, marijuana. People are smoking weed like crazy. Gospel people over daily with weed. You know, they don't really, they basically confiscate the weed and tell them to fuck off. Unless it's a massive amount, like a pillow sack full. Then they'll nail them for trafficking. But, a lot of the times, even though it is still classified as, as an illegal narcotic, all they're doing is they're giving them a slap on the hand and confiscating the, uh, the substance. Then probably going home and smoking it themselves, who knows. But, just saying, like, unless it becomes a big issue, they'll turn a blind eye. And, it's the way she goes, right? A lot of people don't want to fucking bother with all the nonsense and bullshit that comes with uh, with policing. So as long as it's not a problem, they'll ignore it. The moment it becomes a problem, shit hits the fan, and the creators are the ones to pay for it. Hey, Hoozle, my dinner is ready. We got two pork chops and a big mound of potatoes. Let's go fucking gobble, gobble, eat it up. Ah, uh, dinner. Oh, fuck. You gonna focus, you son of a bitch? <sighs> dinner was fantastic. Something I gotta remember to do every time before I pull the trigger on the record is there's a button on the top for taking pictures, but if you have press it, it forces the camera to focus instantly. Which it should do on its own without you having to do that. But, it is what it is. Anyway, we're gonna get some Grand Theft Auto going up in this birch. Uh, play some GTA Online tonight for a couple hours. And then I wanna get to bed at an early time. Because tomorrow I'm going to my parents' house for Din Din! <laughs> din Din at the parents! So that should be good. So I better get some light on the subject. And yeah. Let's pitter patter and have at her. Hop on TeamSpeak and see what the 10 Plytonians are up to. Alrighty, well, we just did a three hour Grand Theft Auto stream, which we probably lost all the uh, safe data from it because shit was dicked. But um, now we're jumping into a wash together. If it'll let me, there it goes. And, um, there we go. So we're getting into a watch together. So, basically a watch together is an awesome site where you and your friends can watch YouTube videos together. Pretty awesome. Oh, that was a good night. Doing some watch together with the, with the boys. Watching some video game videos that we missed throughout the day. Watching some Neves and some Robius. Now I gotta rock a piss and let the dog out. So we'll let him do his business. And then uh, we're gonna go edit and upload. I gotta get to bed tonight at a decent hour. So I can wake up tomorrow at a decent hour. And go to my parents' house for Din Din. Fucking Din Din. Not sure what she's doing. I think she wants to go outside. She changed her mind real quick. No, she misses her puppy. Her dog's outside. She's all upset. This happens every time I let Oreo out. She gets upset. Because Oreo's outside, she's like, where's my dog? I miss my dog. Where's my dog? Hey? Scampers! Where's your dog? Do you know where your dog is? Upset? Probably. I still say it's pretty bad that you got her, oh, just shit. Pretty bad that you got to remind your dog to go for a shit. 
But I don't need to remind myself. Anyway, people, stupid's back in the house. Gonna give him another cup of food here. And then, uh, I'm gonna head her upstairs and get editing going on this video and get it up to you guys ASAP. So, thanks for watching today's video. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you did, click that like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, and you know where they go down below, where they always go. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.